ஸ்ரீ குரு பியோ நான் மகா சில்ட்ரன் ஐ ஆம் ஹாப்பி டு வெல்கம் யூ ஆல் ஃபார் அவர் ஆன்லைன் டீச்சிங் அகாடமி ஏ கலைவா ஃபார் த கிளாஸ் லெவன் சப்ஜெக்ட் பயோ பாட்னி சாப்டர் ஒன் டைவர்சிட்டி ஆஃப் லிவிங் ஆர்கானிசம் டுடே we are going to discuss about very interesting topic children reproduction in bacteria while talking about the reproduction means what comes uh, in your mind first types of methods of reproduction yes exactly so there are um, asexual method is there sexual method is there in bacteria two different types asexual and sexual mode of reproduction uh, is takes place is it yes bacteria reproduce asexually as well as sexually okay so bacteria reproduce asexually by binary fission gonadia formation and endospore formation among this among these three binary fission endosperm formation and gonadia formation the binary fission is most common common one okay so uh, we will discuss this binary fission in detail clear children binary the name itself you can easily understand by what is the meaning of by children by means by cycle what is meaning by by means two very good exactly so binary fission means it divides into two the bacteria the mother bacteria divides into two okay the parent organism divides into two that is called binary fission under favorable conditions the cell wall uh, that is the cell divides into two daughter cells the formed daughter cells is exactly identical as that of the parent organism so initially the nuclear material what is the nuclear material yes dna the nuclear material dna divides first or chromosomes okay so the nuclear material divides first and it is followed by the formation of simple median constriction which finally results in the separation of two cells so binary fission is nothing but during favorable condition the cell divides the parent organism divides into two identical daughter cells okay initially the nuclear material divides first followed by the formation of simple median constriction and which finally results in the separation of two cells uh, see the picture children what is the children uh, this is a bacterial cell bacteria and this is a cell membrane and this is cell wall you know very well clear so bacterial cell divides initially the nuclear material divides followed by the constriction of cytoplasm and finally we are getting two daughter cells clear yes so nuclear material divides first followed by the formation of simple median constriction constriction takes place finally it results in the formation of uh, separation of two cells see so the nuclear material divides it replicates cell wall and the membrane invaginate this is a narrow constriction takes place invagination complete finally two cells it separates into two cells having two different nuclear material okay that is called binary fission the next one is endospore formation it is also one of the asexual method in bacteria formation of spore inside the bacterial cell that is called endospore clear during unfavorable condition 
that environmental condition or whatever it may be unfavorable bacteria produce so many endospores inside the cell itself inside the body itself okay so the endospores produced in bacillus megasterium bacillus spiriticus and clostridium tetani so these are all the organisms endosperms are thick walled resting spores during favorable conditions that spores the endosperms um, germinate down it fell down and form a new bacteria okay that is called um, endosperm formation uh, see the bacterial cell here the dna becomes more dense here the formation of endosperm if the condition is favorable for bacteria means it germinate and form a new cell clear and the next one is second mode of reproduction that is sexual mode of reproduction in bacteria typically sexual reproduction involving the formation as well as the fusion of gametes formation of gametes as well as the fusion of gametes is totally absent in bacteria generally what is sexual reproduction sexual reproduction is nothing but formation of gametes and fusion of gametes is it right children yes but in case of sexual reproduction in bacteria these two mechanism formation of gametes is absent and fusion of gametes is also absent but one peculiar things happening here however the gene recombination very very important gene recombination can occur in bacteria by three different methods they are conjugation transformation and third one is transduction so these are the three important methods so first one is conjugation second one is transformation and third one is transduction conjugation what is the meaning here conjugation two cells unite okay with the help of one important thing pilus or pili it connects the two cells okay so lederberg and edward l tatum demonstrated conjugation in e coli e coli is a bacteria Escherichia coli in the year 1946 in this method of gene transfer the donor cell donor cell is nothing but a cell which donate something they are said to be the donor cell the donor cell gets attached with the recipient cell with the help of pili p i l i so uh, this is here this is the donor cell and this is the recipient cell a cell which donate something is said to be donor and a cell which receive something is said to be a recipient you know very well okay so the donor cell get attached with recipient cell with the help of pili okay and this is the pili pili acts as a bridge it connects the donor cell as well as the recipient cell the plasmid of donor cell so you know very well bacteria this is bacteria bacteria contains a bacterial chromosome as well as one important thing is there the extra chromosomal self replicating double stranded dna that is plasmid so uh, the bacteria contains bacterial chromosome as well as the plasmid okay so the plasmid of donor cell which acts as a f plus factor fertility factor if a cell if a plasmid contains a plasmid means then it is said to be f plus if a cell have plasmid means it is f plus okay if a cell do not have plasmid means it is f minus fertility factor okay see here only one strand of dna is transfer 
see children uh, this is one bacterial cell and this is another bacterial cell and this is a bacterial chromosome of one bacterial cell and this is also bacterial chromosome of another bacterial cell and this is plasmid if a cell has plasmid means this it is said to be f plus this is donor and this is recipient both these cells donor cells and recipient cells are attached with each other uh, by the pili or pilus clear children so usually plasmid are double stranded they are circular self replicating double stranded dna extra chromosomal double stranded dna only one strand of dna here see here this only one strand of dna is transferred to the recipient cell through the conjugation tube this pili acts as a conjugation tube this pili acts as a conjugation tube it acts as a conjugation tube clear yes see the back the donor cell donate a single strand you know very well plasmid contains double strand so only one strand is transfer to the recipient cell through the pili or pilus this is the conjugation tube clear children yes the recipient completes the structure now the recipient cell now the recipient cell completes the structure of single standard plasmid clear clear yes and then the recipient completes the structure of uh, single standard and then this both f plus cell and this donor cell and recipient cell undergoes replication they attain the double standard dna so both the cells undergoes replication the dna undergoes replication to form double standard by synthesizing the strand and then it occurs both they said to have f plus and f plus once again i'm repeating the plasmid of donor cell which has the f factor f plus factor that is fertility factor undergoes replication only one strand of the plasmid of the dna is transferred to the recipient cell through the conjugation tube now the recipient cells completes the structure of double stranded dna by synthesizing the strand that complements the strand acquired from the donor see the picture here this is donor cell and this is recipient cell clear children and uh, this is a uh, what is this bacterial chromosome donor bacterial chromosome here recipient bacterial chromosome see here so in this cell it is have double stranded dna plasmid extra chromosomal double stranded dna plasmid if the cell contains plasmid means it is said to be f plus cell here there is no plasmid here so it is f minus both these are connected by a pilus conjugation tube so see here one of the strand goes here and both these cells attains the double standard and forms f plus again and this also f plus this is called conjugation this is very important question please uh, learn properly clear children The next one is transformation. What is the meaning of transformation? Something is transform, transform from one place to another, one cell to another. That is called transformation. Clear? So the transfer of DNA from one bacterium to another bacterium is called transformation. In 1928, the bacteriologist 
Frederick Griffith demonstrated transformation in maize, right? Using Diplococcus pneumoniae. Diplococcus pneumoniae is a type of bacteria. In this bag, yeah, with the help of this bacteria, so he did an experiment. That, that is the name of the experiment is transformation. Okay, so he used two strains of bacterium. Uh, two strains of this bacterium are present. One strain produces smooth colonies and it is said to be virulent strain. It is marked as S stain. Second one, in addition, another strain produces rough colonies and it is A virulent. A virulent means without poison, it is marked as R stain. So, first stain is two stain he used. One is S stain and another one is R stain. Okay. So, when S type cell, S means smooth. Okay. Smooth, it is virulent, poison. So, the S type cells were injected to the mice, to the mouse. What will happen? The mice or the mouse died. Okay. In second trial, he injected R type of cells, rough stain. Okay. R type of cell, it is A virulent, were injected to the mice. What will happen? The mouse survived. So, R rough stain it is a virulent means no poison so the mice survived in third trial he injected he killed s type cells s means already virulent while heating the virulent stain what will happen all the poison went away now he inject this he killed s type the mice did not die it is survived in the last fourth trial when the mixture of E killed S type cells and R type cells were injected to the mice or mouse, the mouse died. See the picture here, children. First trial, he used R stain, rough stain. See the stains are rough, it is A virulent. He injected the rough stain to the mice. What will happen? It is alive. It is live. Okay. It is not died. Survive. Second one, second trial. A strain. Smooth strain. It is virulent. He injected the virulent strain. The mice died. Third trial, he killed a strain, so the mice survived. The last one, a combination, mixture of R strain. R strain is rough, it is A virulent. Plus, he killed a strain while, while doing this combination, finally the di mice died. Why? What happened? Finally, he concluded, see here, the A virulent, A virulent rough stain of Diplococcus has been transformed into S type cells. The heredity material of E killed S type cells had transformed to R type cell into virulent smooth stain. Initially, the R stain is A virulent. But we are mixing, he mixed the two, heat killed S type and this heat killed S type and R stain. So, the heredity material that is DNA is transformed from the heat killed S type to the R type cell and the R type cell becomes virulent stain. Okay. So, thus the phenomenon of changing the character of one stain by transforming the DNA of another stain into the former is called transformation. It is very, very important to find more question. So, the phenomenon of changing the character of one stain by transferring the DNA of another stain into the former is called transformation. See here, 
Uh, this is uh, another picture for transformation. Donor DNA, it is injected into the host DNA. This is the recipient, this is a, uh, injected into recipient, donor or host. Integration takes place. This is also one of the transformation mechanism. The last one is transduction. Zinger and Ederberg in 1952 discovered transduction in Salmonella typhimurum. Phage mediated DNA transfer is called transduction. Phage mediated. What is phage? A virus infecting bacteria. It is called the phage. Okay? So, there are two types of transduction. One is generalized transduction and another one is specialized transduction. So, generalized means the ability of bacteriophage or phage to carry genetic material of any region of bacterial DNA. See here, uh, this, is a back, this is a bacterial cell. The phage DNA, the phage is attached on the cell wall of bacteria, the phage DNA. See here, this is a phage DNA and the, the phage DNA. The ability of bacteriophage to carry genetic material to any region of the bacterial DNA is called generalized. But in case of specialized means the phage to carry only a specific region. The ability of bacteriophage carry only a specific region of bacterial DNA is called specialized transduction. See the picture here. Uh, this is a bacterial cell, uh, this is a virus, bacteriophage. It is attached in the cell wall. Clear? So, trans, uh, penetration of, what is this? Genetic material takes place. See here, it attached in any region, generalized. Okay, see here, you already is, um, saw in this type of picture in uh, virus. Multiplication of virus, lytic cycle and lit lysogenic cycle, lytic and lysogenic. Clear? So, the ability of bacteriophage to carry genetic material to any region of bacterial cell, bacterial DNA is called generalized. See the picture here. And this is a generalized transduction here and this is a specialized transduction here. Clear? Thank you children. We will see in the next class.